Hey YouTube, I know uh, our last video I said it was going to be a short one and we'll try to make this in a short one too. Um, on this one here, uh, last one we made this exhaust for it and a couple of you thought that you liked it better before. Well that's kind of one of the fun things about monkeying with stuff. You can always tinker with it and uh, I put a piece of fiberglass insulation down in the bottom and then a piece of steel wool to hold it in. And we kind of toned it down a little bit. We'll see if it'll start. Almost. Well. that toned down our exhaust note quite a bit and uh, it kind of brings me to the situation with these carburetors I don't like them they they do I guess technically work but the adjustments on them you can look at them funny and they'll change so I guess uh, with that I had said to a couple of you in the comments that uh, we're gonna work on that horizontal engine Remember this little guy? And uh, I'll show you the carburetor on this. If you look at it, I'll bring this other one up. And they're essentially the same exact carburetor. This one here is mounted with a flange. And then this one here is threaded into the head. So I set out to make an adapter to try to run a, uh, a uh, carburetor off of a nitro engine. And this is what we made. And we spun that down and when it came to these threads we were in for a real Shanghai surprise because they are metric but bring it in here where you guys can maybe see the thread pitch is so stinking small but we got it and uh, we're gonna take this carburetor off before we go or before we pull that off I guess we want to see if it'll still run there's that better Can you guys see it if we try to start it this way I'll give it a little bit of throttle and choke it here I guess yes we do know that it still runs shut it off and then uh, we'll get our fuel line and stuff off of there I'll get this carburetor unthreaded we'll put that other one on here put a new fuel line on it uh, before I cut away we are not done with that showman's engine yet we've had uh, a temperature swing anywhere from 40 degrees Fahrenheit to 60 degrees Fahrenheit and it has rained almost every day so I guess you guys can understand what that's gonna do with getting paint to work and cooperate with you but we are almost done with it guys so I've been out here just kind of monkeying with these and waiting for a good day to get our final coat of paint to put on the top of that canopy so all right with that said I'll be right back we'll put that other carburetor on here we'll see how things line up what it looks like get a fuel line onto it and uh, start monkeying so stick around we'll be right back okay so we got our old carburetor off and uh, I had somebody ask me about how to adjust these and uh, this is your main jet this right here is your low speed jet or your idle jet if you will and uh, these things are so so sorry these things are just so touchy you can take your screwdriver sometimes and just touch the head on that low speed 
and it will change it just because of the rattle fit on that adjustment needle so um, the carburetor that we put on essentially the same principle I mean all carburetors work the same so it is essentially the same principle we have a rotary barrel you guys will be able to see down in there I'm sure but that opens and closes and if you look you'll see how this ramps up when it ramps up it pulls farther away from this main jet allowing more fuel in and when it's at an idle that right there is the position of the needle metering the fuel as the air goes by so with that said let's take a look at this Rube Goldberg contraption and yeah it's a it's a big carburetor it looks terribly terribly out of scale but just remember guys this is for testing purposes and I guess we're learning we put this big loop of fuel line in here so we can visually see if we are drawing fuel or not so we can see in the barrel of this one that would be wide open and that would be idle and if you watch up here I'll try to keep my fingers out of your way you'll see this ramp up let me grab a something to get my fingers out of your way use this pick can you see it ramping up that's allowing more fuel through our main jet here this one here we still have our idle jet and then this here is our idle adjustment so okay well I guess here we go I'll pull you guys back out of the way so I don't keep smacking the camera we'll see what happens we're gonna roll it over until we see fuel come up to here and then we'll turn our ignition on and I'm gonna keep my hand on here in case it tries to run away but okay Ignition's off. Wide open. Oh, look at that. Did you guys see that fuel shoot up here right away? Right there it is. Let's turn our ignition on and see what happens here, guys. Nothing. I can see fuel laying in there. I bet you we floated the tar out of this little guy. So let's close this inlet needle. This is a brand new carburetor. It came from Traxxas, and it's for a .15 engine. Let's go a half a turn. I can see fuel in there. I think we flooded, flooded it bad, guys. Well, let's grab that drill driver. We'll spin it over and see if we can clear it out or see if anything happens. Like I said, this might be a failure. We're all learning, so I'm trying to come up with a solution to a problem. be too much carburetor but it does run on it we'll give it one turn seemed like we ran out of fuel Let's go with our low speed mix. 
make sure and see if we can smooth this out. sure guys there might be something to this there's going to be a little bit more tweaking and dialing but we might end up with something Well guys, it's a big, stupid, ugly carburetor on there, but it is running on it. Keep experimenting with this. I won't pester you guys with how this goes, but we'll keep monkeying around, guys. We'll probably have another one, and uh, it looks like this weekend it's supposed to be nice weather, so... We'll get that uh, canopy finish painted. Oh. We'll bring it out. So, hey, once again, you guys are fantastic. Thanks for watching. Thanks for leaving great comments. And, uh, yeah, once again, we get to 500 subscribers. We do have that Will Kemp engine setting up over there. And uh, that'll go home to one of you guys. And i uh, got a couple more of my coffee mugs. Oh. got excited over the coffee mugs and I do have some brand new t-shirts with a new logo so we'll get some of them sent out to all of you make sure that you guys leave uh, you know a comment share with us and uh, subscribe I appreciate it guys thanks again we'll see you